friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and trying on an Elsa dress from Angel Secrets. So I went ahead and I ordered this costume and I'm very excited about it. It was definitely like probably the most expensive costume I've ever ordered. But when it comes to Elsa's corset, like it's very hard to replicate. And I just thought that this costume is absolutely beautiful. And the reason why I need it, I wouldn't just buy this to buy it. Well, maybe I would, but there are other princesses that I like more than Elsa's. I'd want to buy really beautiful, you know, recreations of their outfits. It's because I will be starting my very own princess party company. So I said this on my Instagram. I don't know if I said it on YouTube yet, but unfortunately my princess company that I used to work for had to um, basically completely disband due to Corona. And it's really sad because they were starting to expand and, um, we were going to do tea parties and all this really fun stuff. And unfortunately, just the way that the world is, um, the owner wanted to sell it and, um, just kind of get rid of everything, sell everything off. So because of that, I am now princess without a castle, man. So, uh, my friend Lauren and I, who I worked with the princess company, we will be starting our own company. We're trying to start October 1st, so stay tuned. And I will do fun things like announce the name of it. And yeah, we're just really excited. I think it's gonna be really fun. It'll be mostly virtual princess parties. And hopefully when, you know, the world is red again, we can go back to doing parties in person. But for now, it's just a matter of keeping everyone safe and still being able to bring magic and you know, entertainment into a children's life. But there you have it. That's my spiel. That's why I spent all this money on this Elsa costume. Because when I was a party princess, I played Elsa every single weekend. And you cannot have a party princess business and not offer Elsa. And me and Lauren were both more honest. I have a great auto costume. She has two great auto costumes. We had no Elsa. So I was like, you know what? The first thing I need to do is I have to order an Elsa. And I considered ordering the Frozen 2 one, but I still feel like most of the time, even when Frozen 2 was like fresh in theaters, they wanted me to wear the Frozen 1 dress. So that's what I ordered. I hopefully will be able to get a Frozen 2 costume in the future. First, let's see how this all goes. It's definitely on the to-do list, so, um, or maybe make one. I don't know. Their, their costumes are definitely very difficult, um, fabric-wise and, you know, all the different pieces, but it, it could be, could be possible. So anyways, if you haven't heard of Angel Secret, they're this really amazing company. They do basically recreations of all the princess outfits. They have different styles listed on the website. Some princesses have, you know, more options than others. Like there are so many frozen costumes. It's crazy. And there's like one Snow White dress. So you can kind of tell based on popularity um, what kind of dresses they're going to offer. So. Some of their cheapest dresses are around 100, 120, um, and then it can get up there pretty fast, like up to like 300 something dollars. So um, I did end up buying a nicer Elsa costume than like the cheapest one I could have bought. Um, and the reviews I saw were for kind of the cheaper one, which was their past previous model. I really love the new design though. The sleeves are like ombre blue, crystals. And the corset jewels, I just think that like the coloring of them is better than the other option. The other option, I think that it doesn't really look as good. Um, and I thought that this one just really looked truly beautiful. And if I buy, you know, put the money into a really nice Elsa costume, I'm gonna use this for like the next five years, hopefully. So I think it's definitely worth it. And I'm very excited to open it up, see what it looks like and show you guys. So I'm hoping that it fits. Um, it was, uh, it wasn't a, a size selection. I had to give my measurements. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. And it is coming from China. So, you know, size measurements, things like that are, are different. Um, but it should be fine. And I made sure to write inches, not centimeters. So I know I'm giving it to them in inches. Um, cause I'm a little bit worried about like conversion rates of things I realize. But anyways, let's go ahead and open it up. See what it looks like and get some first impressions. So this actually arrived pretty quick. Um, you are not allowed to ship it with like regular shipping right now because of everything's like shut down due to COVID. So you have to get like the express shipping, which was like $30, which really actually isn't that bad. Um, and so it came by DH 
HL, that's what you call it. And I did ooh, open it because I assumed there would be another package inside of it, but there is not. So um, I will be pulling this out and then we can look at it together and okay, here we go. Okay, so we're all in this little plastic bag here. So I'm gonna pull out this corset first. Oh, and I literally just broke the zipper on the plastic bag. Perfect. <laughs> wow, look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So the difference between this corset and um, the other one is the other one, the jewels were kind of more like almost gray, I felt. And these, the blue kind of mixed with the ones that are more, um, I guess kind of, they kind of ref reflect so many more colors, um, kind of almost rainbowy. I think it's really cool. You can see it like the way that it shimmers in the light it is absolutely beautiful like wow 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 and these sleeves this is what i'm talking about i'm obsessed with the ombre because i've worn let me tell you i've worn a number of like Yelza costumes in my time and these are beautiful the sleeve almost kind of like sparkles on its own and having the whole pattern in the jewels jewels on the neckline and it is like a full corset for sure. Like we got the corseted back. So I'll show you that. Um, okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of a zipper to close the sheer top. And then you have shoop, your corseted back, which is great. Um, it definitely is very heavy. Like this definitely has a weight to it, which I think it's gonna be fine. Um, definitely, when I tried to like make an Elsa costume in the past, it's really hard to like make her corset be bodycon when it's literally like made of ice or whatever, like completely bedazzled like this. So I'm interested to see how it's gonna fit, if it really comes in at that waist or not. If not, it's probably fine. Um, but as long as it like fits well enough, I'm not so worried about that. So I think this is absolutely completely gorgeous already obsessed with this um so let's look at the next piece here okay so i did get um the blue lining as opposed to the purple personally i just i like the blue better i know at disneyland she wears a purple lining but i like the dark blue um i feel like it's it more is with the aesthetic of everything and this looks pretty much exactly like elsa skirts that i used to wear the company um Whoever, like, I think they all use the same material. It seems fine. I think it looks good. We got a zipper in the back. So, and it looks like it comes in at the waist. Does, I feel like it might look a little bit big, but it's kind of hard to tell until I actually put it on. So it could be completely fine. Um, and the slit isn't up too high, which is actually good for princess parties um because you don't want to be wearing anything too scandalous so now let's look at this cape oh it's like kind of all stuck together here just give me a moment oh my god glitter is about to go everywhere oh this is very sparkly Okay, we are stuck together, but so this is the cape. Um, this is pretty much akin to other capes that I've definitely had in the past. It's really pretty. I mean, I think it's nice because it does have like the design um, of her cape. And then it looks like we have elastic kind of around the top and these little hooks. So. I didn't notice it on the corset, but I'm presuming that there's two hooks on the corset that this will hook onto, which is a lot of the Elsa costumes that I've worn too. Um, the cape is a completely separate part and you just have to kind of like hook it onto the costume. So yeah, I mean, it definitely like, obviously it's not like drop dead gorgeous, but I think it'll 
get it done. Um, so first impressions, I love the top. I think it's really beautiful. I'm not upset that I ordered the slightly more expensive version because I think that it just like really, really sparkles. Um, skirt seems perfectly fine. I like the dark blue lining and the cape seems like it'll get the job done. So I guess the next step is to put it on and see how it feels, how it fits and um, kind of give some more reviews there. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about what I really like first and then talk about what I don't like. So for starters, I love this corset top. I feel like it actually fits pretty well. Um, a lot of Elsa costumes can sometimes be very boxy, um, especially if they don't have like the lace up option in the back, which is kind of the way that the fabric is, it's very stiff. So I feel like this actually is pretty flattering even though it is like heavy and heavily bejeweled. I love the colors of it, I think that it really looks the same like it does in the movie um, and I'm glad that I went with this kind of more you know color refracting the blues as opposed to kind of some of the silver in there I like this a lot better the sleeves I think are absolutely beautiful I love the feel of them they're super comfortable and mesh and this isn't like falling off of my shoulders which was the problem I used to have with a lot of other ones that I would be like oh my gosh one shoulder's down the other shoulder's down um, trying to get it to stay up and I think it's just absolutely beautiful um, the skirt, I do think that it fits me in the waist, but and I don't I don't really like the poofiness of this design, which at first I thought that it was just too big for me, but then I went and I actually looked at some of the pictures and I think it does look poofy on those girls too. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So you see where the corset meets the skirt, it just kind of poofs out a little bit. Like if you look at Elsa's dress in the movie, it's a very like kind of slim, um, narrow shape. And here, even though it fits well on my waist, because I've tied this tight, and I think at any point in which you tie the corset, it creates a poof right here, which I am honestly not a huge fan of. Um, you know, the slit obviously is very far down on the leg, which I, I don't mind, but I think that because it's so far down, it actually adds to the poofy shape. So you kind of look a little bit like a mushroom up top and um, luckily it isn't really too long for me, which again is a huge issue. I'm actually not wearing heels, which I should be, um, but I've had dresses in the past where I literally could not walk in them. I had to pick them up with my hands while I'm wearing four inch heels and try to like walk into the birthday party. It's so, so difficult. So this is a good height for me. Um, so that is cool that it's like made for my height proportions. And then the cape I think is okay. Honestly, it's like, nothing really that special it's perfectly fine um i think it's a little bit expensive for what it is um especially because the way that this kind of like sticks to itself and i also don't like that it doesn't naturally stay at the top um up here i don't know if there's like another hook that i'm missing i don't think so though i would love it if there was just like maybe two more hooks so that it could stay up here easily as opposed to kind of falling down um because it's just a little bit loose there in the elastic and my other qualm is that the laces that you have to tie this you can see they're already a little bit like ragged for me just trying to tie it for the first time so I think that the lace that's included is honestly not the best quality. It kind of feels like a shoelace, but it also doesn't have like a sharp point so that you can make sure you're getting it in the hole. So it was very difficult to try and lace the back of the corset, especially while I'm wearing it because um, it just would be too tight trying to like put it all over my head. And then with this, I think it's really smart that they have the little zipper in the back for the mesh though, and it doesn't come all the way down. That I think worked perfectly fine. But definitely, I might just trade it out for like a better ribbon or something because I feel like it's not, it, it's not great and it was really difficult to lace for like no reason. This costume in total was $330 plus $20 for $25 or $30. I think it was $25 for the express shipping. Um, and so it was definitely an investment. Um, 
I think that I could have probably just bought the corset top and figured out the rest of it. But, you know, I, I think it's beautiful. It was easy, obviously, because I just got the, the whole three-part costume. And I think it was worth it for me a little bit more than the slightly cheaper one. Um, cause it is going to be an investment for my future as Elsa for five million, million years to come because she'll always be everyone's favorite princess. I just think that's the way it is. Well, now that I've tried it on, I would say that overall, I think this costume is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I feel like Elsa in it. I love the colors. I love the design. I think that the skirt and the cape are a little bit simple so like if you are so inclined I think you can get away with just buying this corset top and then making your own skirt and cape because I'm sure you can find similar um, fabric places because I literally this fabric that the skirt is made out of I've like worn five different variations of Elsa skirts out of the same fabric TBH um, but I think that those would be pretty easy to make and you can maybe make it a little bit poofier like this I think is appropriate for princess parties though. Um, I don't know if I would want this skirt as far as cosplay goes. Like this wouldn't be my ideal. I don't really like the shape of it. And I don't think it really looks like her skirt in the movie, but I do think that um, it is appropriate and it's not super tight. So honestly, it, it's pretty comfortable. And also since I'm gonna be starting with just the virtual princess parties, like the fact that I look like this just sitting down, I think is absolutely perfect. So really, I think it was a good investment. Um, and I think that this top definitely is worth it. So for sure, for sure, for sure, I recommend this top. It's beautiful. It feels high quality. It looks so good. It doesn't, you know, kind of square you out as much as other Elsa corsets, but cape and skirt, eh, they're perfectly fine. The skirt probably is like not my favorite more than anything else. Um, but I, I will learn to live with it because that's okay. At first, I really did think that it was too big for me, but looking back at the pictures, I think it's just the design. So, um, I can't really be mad at the fit um, if I didn't really study the pictures well enough to see kind of what the skirt was going to look like. Well, that is all for this video. Um, I'm really excited that I have an Angel Secret costume. Like, this made me so happy, and um, I definitely will probably order from them again. It's always been, like, you know, it's one of those things that you like go online and you stare at and you're like, oh man, I really want all of these princess costumes, but I do not have independent wealth. Like I cannot, but now it's like, <laughs> I'm starting a princess company. I have an excuse to buy good princess costumes. So <laughs> you may be seeing more of these reviews for me. But let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think about this costume? Do you think that it looks good? Is it good enough for cosplay? Would you want your princess, your Elsa, to walk into the birthday party looking like this? Would you be like, surprise, would you be happy, or would you be like, not enough, that skirt is too poofy. <laughs> and also, what princess dress are you dying to wear? Because for me, I think this like checks a big one off the list, um, but I definitely am still trying to make it myself a Cinderella dress because as y'all know, girl my fave. But that's all for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. But until then, stay sparkly. Bye-bye.